So I saw this project linked on Hacker News. It's called Hmm. It's actually pronounced Hmm. And I came to the page here, it's a GitHub page. And when I saw the screenshot, I thought this looks like something I'd be interested in. It looks really cool. It's actually a command line app and it has all these keyboard shortcuts. So when I scroll down to key bindings, this is when I was sold because I love Vim. I love apps that are based around keyboard shortcuts. And this is like everything is controlled with Vim like keyboard shortcuts. So I wanted to try it out, but interestingly, this app is distributed as a single PHP file. Now I don't even have PHP installed. I haven't written PHP in years. So I installed PHP just to try this. I downloaded this file here, which is the PHP file. And then you just run it by typing PHP, hmm. Now this app is actually packed with cool features. In addition to being able to navigate from the keyboard, you can do things like collapse nodes, have a focus view where, where the active node is always centered. You can search through the nodes. And you can even export your file to a standalone HTML file that can be viewed really easily. So let's just go through some of the keyboard shortcuts and we'll kind of see how it works. It says you can press O or enter to create a new sibling to the active node. So I'm at the root node. You just press enter and you can start typing. So I'm going to plan a picnic with this mind map. And so I might have top level items like food, friends, location. Now you can navigate around up and down here using the up and down arrows or the J and K keys, which is the Vim keyboard shortcuts for going up and down, which sounds weird to use J and K instead of arrows, but those keys are on the home row. So once you get used to it, it's just right there and it's very easy to move up and down. You get used to it, you start to love it. Similarly, you can use H and L to move left and right. So you can navigate this way. And so I can just navigate around my list like this. And if I want to add a new item here, it's shift O or tab. So for food, I could say sandwiches and then maybe add something here, ice, cookies. And then I want to go back up. I can navigate left, go down here. Maybe I'll add an item supplies. I'll go up here, add an item, make an email list. So I've added a few more items. And if I go up here to the top um, and you press C, that actually centers the view on that item, which pushes some things off the bottom. But as you move down, it scrolls. And if you press capital C, it'll actually keep your view centered as you move around. Okay, now I've expanded my sandwich section and I've added a section about toasting because if I want to toast the bread and uh, there's a lot to consider around toasting bread at a picnic. So maybe I want to delete this and move it to the top level. So you can press D to delete an item and that actually copies it to the clipboard as you do it, like in Vim. Then I can come back here to the root or you can actually press, um, I think it's M. You go straight to the root and then press P to paste it in here. So now I've got toasting as a top level item and I can press E because I want to change the name of this. So E brings it up for editing, but if I press shift E, that actually brings up an empty item to replace what was in there. So I could just say toasting. I could totally imagine getting comfortable with these keyboard shortcuts and I'm already comfortable with Vim shortcuts. So I'm pretty good at this, but getting familiar with how this system works, I can imagine just flying through this and editing so fast. Now toasting, I want to bring that up to the middle because that's going to be very important. So instead of using J and K to move up and down, if you use shift J and K, it'll actually move the item that you have selected up with you. So I can put this there. I've got a lot of items under toasting. I might want to hide those. You can press space to toggle an item. You can press V to toggle everything at the top level. You can use number keys to set what level of the hierarchy that you want to toggle at. So I can press three, two, one, you can press slash to search for something. So I'll just type A so I get a lot of results. And then you can press N to cycle through those results or shift N to go in reverse order. Now, again, you may think that a keyboard driven tool like this is going to be hard to use and cumbersome. But when you learn and kind of ingest those keyboard shortcuts in any tool, even if it's not a command line tool, learning the keyboard shortcuts means you start to just think the you, you kind of control it by thinking. You just kind of think of what you want to do, press the key and then it happens. And after a while, it's like muscle memory. And if you're using your mouse to click stuff, you think of something you want to do, you move your mouse to target something and then click versus thinking and immediately pressing a key, especially those keys are on the home row. That's the, that's the beauty of this Vim keyboard layout. Those keys are on the home row. So you're thinking of something and then just twitching your finger muscle and then it immediately happens. And so it really does feel like you're, you're using your brain to just like control the software because the movement that you have to do is so small. So you can just do, 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 you know, these little movements to quickly uh, manipulate something. Now let's look at the exporting options because I think this is super cool. We have S to save the file. So let's do save file with new name and we'll call this picnic. 
And so that saved picnic .hmm. So let's quit out of this, which is Q. And let's take a look at picnic .hmm. And this I love. So this is like the source file of that. And this sort of shares some similarity to task.txt because it uses a very simple data format with no metadata. So my tool, task.txt, you directly edit the data format, and that is the tool. You could almost do that with, with this tool as well. You know, if I wanted to move one of these around, I could move it down here. It's easy enough because this format is so simple. So let's quit out of here. Let's try opening the tool back up. And yeah, it's got my changes in it now. Okay, so now the other export option that I wanna look at is export as HTML. This is really cool too. So I can press X and this is what we get. So it generates this HTML page, a standalone HTML page that you could serve or share. And it's got these little toggleable items. Okay, so real nice view of the outline as HTML. So I love this. I just love simple little tools like this that are built for speed, you know, built around keyboard shortcuts. And I feel again, like it has some similarity in philosophy to task TXT, which is my tool because task TXT is also based around text and it's not as based around keyboard shortcuts, but it actually does have Vim like keyboard shortcuts, which you can access by pressing escape. And then you can move around up and down using J and K. And you can do things like toggle done on an item or start and stop the timer on an item. And then there's also a command like N to create a new task. So I'm gonna put the link to hmm in the description and I'll put a link to task TXT if you wanna try my task item manager tool. Uh, I hope you'll check them both out.